What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a gaming setup and uh, yeah, it's long overdue. It's 2020. I've upgraded literally everything in this room and I cannot wait to tell you guys exactly what I've got. Like you may have noticed a few months ago, all of my videos completely changed quality and that's just because we upgraded the entire thing. So this is the first time I'm ever showing you guys this. I don't think anyone's seen the whole setup, so I hope you guys enjoy. Let's see how many likes we can get on this episode, and yeah, where do we start? I mean, the whole room is pretty much the office uh, over there. Um, that's just where I store things. We've got a cupboard for, you know, some clothes, whatever. We've got some boxes up top, Xbox One, everything. I don't actually have the Xbox One set up. Hasn't been set up for a very long time. And uh, just down there in the corner, I'm not going to show it, but we have a backup computer and two monitors in case anything happens with, uh, with the main computer. And I'll get into all the specs on that later in this episode. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty prepared. <laughs> I like to think I am. But do you see this, guys? I know, it's weird. A box full of cables. And trust me when I say this, every single one of them is broken, not working. I've just accumulated it over making videos and there's tons and tons of HDMI cables. Display ports are in there, I think. Micro USBs, Ethernet ports. I mean, we've got tons of cables, but the majority of them are HDMI cables. Now, why am I telling you this? Because a HDMI cable broke on me the other day and I was almost screwed. I literally had nothing to plug my monitors in. I had to go out and get one, but I Vanky stepped in and they sponsored this video and this is what they sent I Vanky specialize in this industry. They know exactly what they're doing and I mean their products show it guys This is their display port cable. It's an 8k display port cable and uh, this is their HDMI one guys Both of them reinforced they're gonna last a very long time unlike every single HDMI cable I've gone through <laughs> Although they told me a bit about their company and the sponsor I didn't need to be told much about them because I had already heard about them and I'm sure most of you guys have as well In fact when you look at them on Amazon they have products with almost 5,000 reviews almost all of which are five stars. Not only are Ivanki's HDMI cables, display port cables, some of the cheapest and most affordable ones you're going to find on the marketplace right now. Instead of this rubbery stuff which you get on, on these HDMIs, this is just a normal, typical HDMI cable. This one is not rubbery on the outside. It's got some fabric and everything and this really makes it durable. It makes it really tough. It's silver plated. It's using new technology which stops it from corroding and corrosion is a big thing with HDMI cables. If you're sliding it around on monitors, if you're sliding it around on TVs or laptops or anything, trying to plug it in little cables and wires and pins and stuff inside it will get knocked out of place and if you don't take care of them then they will break and like I've seen over the years lots of them do and I'm sure you guys know as well for those of you wondering what HDMI cables do they're really useful when it comes to connecting up screens my camera which you're watching me on is connected to my computer via a HDMI my monitors are both connected via HDMI's you can connect them via display ports it's really down to preference and what works for you but Ivanki is definitely the brand you want to go for if you're interested in just a premium HDMI display port cable at an affordable price and right now there's some of the cheapest you can buy online because it's Amazon Prime Day and you get a 35% discount on their 4k display port cables and a 30% discount on their 8k HDMI cables guys which literally makes them really really cheap right now <laughs> it's a limited time only deal and if you want to make the most of it use their deals on Amazon and make sure to use my discount code in the description below for the additional 10% off it's crazy right now now is the time to get them if you need to get cables. Anyway guys, you want to see the main setup and that is what we're here to do. So uh, <laughs> this is basically everything you can see, like what you can see on the video is pretty much what I use. Over there in the corner, which I don't think you have seen, is the memorabilia tower. Uh, I pretty much have tons and tons of microphones. We've got the Yetis over there, the classic Xbox One, a few Apple boxes, more Rode microphones, Plenty of other microphones. I think that's a projector. This book, my brother actually got me. Uh, that was for Christmas. Uh, in a note is like a funny congratulations on almost getting a billion views, which we just got this year, which is also a huge milestone. So thank you so much for helping us reach that. Um, over here, though, is the YouTube silver play button. Um, I think it looks quite nice in there. It has its own little cozy hole and everything. The million subscriber button is uh, underneath the bed. It's too big, too heavy to put on the wall as well. So uh, unfortunately, that is... Uh, underneath the bed. Right here is uh, the YouTube 1 million subscriber playbook. I didn't realize they did this, but this is actually really cool. I'm gonna bring it out so you guys can see what it is, because I don't think many other people have really kind of showcased what this book is all about, and I know I mentioned it when, when I first got it. It's really, really cool. You just open it up like so. On the front are names of every single YouTuber who hit a million subscribers in that year. And I think it was 2016 when we hit a million subscribers. So uh, every single YouTuber in that year is there. 
Uh, shout out in the comments if you saw my name. <laughs> I don't know if you guys did, but you never know. And then inside are basically logos of every single YouTube channel which hit a million subscribers that year. And it's all in alphabetical order. We're in the B's right now and the A's. I am in there. Is it this one? Yep, it's this one, guys. Here we go. 0.4 live right there. <laughs> and you probably recognize a few other names as well. I definitely do. Um, amazing, amazing piece from YouTube. Up there, I mean, there's really not much to show. It's just cables, old graphics cards, um, a poster from like the classic YouTube days when I just started, and just a few boxes and everything. It's just things we don't use anymore. Down here is kind of like the formal stuff. You know, we've got the printer. <laughs> Printer's loaded with paper. Got a, a massive cabinet full of like things I need. But this is kind of the stuff I use on YouTube. So uh, down there are the headphones I use. They're just a simple, um, Audio, Technica, they do the job. I like headphones with bass and everything, comfortable, noise cancelling. Um, the big lights you can see shining on me, that's the Elgato key lights. And it took me ages to get them. I have no idea why. I just, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I needed them, but when I got them, it improved the setup massively. I'm sure you guys noticed the quality change. Um, and that really helped with the blue screen and the green screen and picking everything up because, you know, we finally got light <laughs> in the cameras. And speaking of cameras, this is the camera I use for YouTube. It is the uh, Canon Legria HF650. Let me just double check that by flipping this around. Yeah, it's the HFG50, guys. The Canon Legria. It's a really nice camera. Um, I got that a few months ago and the quality of my videos has just improved drastically. Um, so if anyone's looking to get a professional YouTube camera, that is the one I use and it's connected up via HDMI to the Elgato HD60 Pro, I think that's what they're called. You put it in the computer and it connects through there, bring it up on software, super easy and simple to use. Um, and that's what I use in all of my videos. Next to it is the, <laughs> is the old school. We got the webcam. This is just a Microsoft live cam. I hardly use them now only for live streams because for some reason, I, I haven't figured this out yet, but I can't quite use the main camera on live streams. I don't understand why it's really annoying me. Um, so that's basically why we got the webcam there and just, you know, for casual calls and everything just in case we need a camera quickly. Moving on to the monitors though, this is the Asus PV287Q. Now these monitors are 28 inch 4K dual monitor setup. When I got new monitors, I just thought I want to get something to last, something to future proof the entire setup and these did a really good job at an affordable price. So um, that's the monitors I use. Of course, I ditched the stands. I didn't want that on my desk and I just got a typical monitor stand around the back. And then moving into the actual sound system, I'm sure loads of you are wondering what microphone I use, especially if you're into content creation yourself. The microphone we use is uh, the Rode Broadcaster. Um, <laughs> for a while, I actually thought it was the Shure SM7B because when I was buying it, I, I was split between both of them. Um, but I, yeah, I took this, this thing off and I can confirm it is the Rode Broadcaster. <laughs> Anyway, that's attached to the boom arm from Rode as well. Really, really handy. Um, they're, they're just great with audio and microphones and everything. And down below, it's connected to the Yamaha AG06. Now that is a mixing console. It's a soundboard. Let me just show you what it does. All of these little dialogue things, if you twist them and everything, it changes the levels of the microphone. So let's say I'm just chilling here, <laughs> doing a normal recording. I could be shouting like, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> and what it will do is kind of cancel out the really, really sharp tones. So if anyone's interested in just making sure your sound is top notch, mixing board is what you need. Um, it just, it cancels out without too much editing. It just does it automatically, cancels out the spikes, the sharp audio, and just the, the things you don't really want to hear. You can also control the gain. You can add really cool effects. I've actually got this microphone on, so I'm going to show you what this effect does. It literally just says effect. You press the button and everything echoes. <laughs> I love it. It's like I'm in a big hall or something. Um, and then, of course, there's compressor, which, you know, the audio kind of sounds a bit flatter, a bit more condensed and everything. So, yeah, I mean, there's so many things you can do with this and you can play around with it, plug in other microphones. Great for podcasting as well. This one, maybe not so much. You can only get two microphones to it, but you can get mixing consoles with like eight slots, 16. It goes on and on and on. It just depends on how big you want it on your desk. And speaking of desks, <laughs> this desk is electric. I don't use it. I thought I would record videos standing up. And I was like, yep, this is going to be great. I'm going to pull my cables out at this rate. But yeah, with the click of a button, the desk goes up. But unfortunately, I don't use it. <laughs> I bought it and then for like a week or two, I was standing up doing my recordings and then I realized this is not going to work. So I just, yeah, I stopped using the electric desk and I just sat down, got a chair and 
that's how I went back to filming. I really thought I could make the change. <laughs> so electric desks are cool, um, but yeah, don't think you're gonna be standing up for everything because some of us just give up after the first week. <laughs> Anyway, moving along, down is the main computer. For those of you wondering what specs are in the computer, let me try and move out of the way so you can see it. The computer itself might not look too nice. It's just glass panel, lots of cables stuffed everywhere and everything. That's just how my computer is. I barely touched it for years. I got the computer a while ago uh, from Overclockers, actually. They sent it out, and it's got a Ryzen 7 1800X processor um, alongside a graphics card 1080 Ti. Um, and yeah, it's done me well. Of course, there's so much more technology out there, which is way better But honestly, I just don't understand most of it. So I will happily use what works for me. Anyway behind me uh, This is the green screen or should I say green screens colored screens blue screens? <laughs> the main one down there the green screen is from Elgato um, I'm sure you may have seen this in other youtuber setups But just in case you haven't it just kind of like slides down and up Really handy to have, it goes down all the way into that thing. But um, what I realized is that green reflects light more. So when I'm sitting down and the camera's on me, um, the green reflects too much. So it will end up like beaming out lots of glow around me and everything, which I know with lots of editing you could fix, but I had, a, I had a blue screen lying about. It was just under a bed. I got it a long time ago. So I propped it up and because blue absorbs light more, I believe. Um, I just don't get the, the glow behind me as much, so I would recommend blue screen over green screen any time. Of course, I know blue is, uh, <laughs> most of my clothes are blue, so I have to sacrifice all of them for recording. Um, so it's really down to choice. Um, but yeah, I would recommend blue screen over green screen any time, in case you guys are interested in that. Um, but as for the whole setup, I think that's basically most of it. I mean, I'll give you guys a shot of underneath the desk. If you guys are interested, you can see my, my slippers down there. <laughs> uh, TP link just to boost the internet around the flat. And uh, some speakers, cable management isn't great, a shredder and stuff in case I need to shred anything. But overall, I mean, that's pretty much my entire setup. There's really not much else to show off apart from what you guys can see in this room. It's just full of memorabilia, it's full of technology, and it does the job, guys. I mean, I know people have the craziest setups in the world. Um, but this does everything I needed to do and everything you see in my videos now is filmed in this room with everything you can see here. The keyboard, the mouse, very typical things, just stuff I need to use to type. I think the keyboard I got was the cheapest one I could find on Amazon and actually arrived broken. Um, but still, it does the job. So um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this informative in any way possible, smash the like button. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer as many questions as you guys like. And once again, a massive thank you to Ivanki for sponsoring today's episode um, and making this possible. And you guys as well for asking me to do a 2020 gaming setup. So this is what we have. Everything you can see in this video and it's probably going to be like this for quite a long time. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys next time.